Welcome to a fascinating journey into the rich tapestry of Chinese mythology. In this video, we'll explore the divine realm through the stories of ten main deities who have shaped the cultural and spiritual landscape of China. From the celestial rule of the Jade Emperor to the legendary Monkey King's mischievous exploits, each deity brings a unique flavor to the intricate pantheon. Join us as we unravel the tales of creation, compassion, and cosmic battles. Get ready to embark on a mythological odyssey that transcends time and unveils the divine narratives that have captivated generations. Don't forget to hit subscribe as we delve into the enchanting world of Chinese mythology together. Yu Huang, also known as the Jade Emperor, is a prominent figure in Chinese mythology. Imagine him as the chief executive of the Divine Realm, overseeing heaven and earth. In simpler terms, he's like the big boss of the gods. Picture a wise and powerful figure, often depicted with a long white beard adorned in majestic robes and sitting on a throne of jade. Now, the Jade Emperor is often portrayed as wise, just, and powerful. It's said that he manages the celestial bureaucracy, deciding the fate of souls and maintaining order in the cosmos. Picture him as the ultimate judge, making sure things run smoothly in the divine hierarchy. People often pray to the Jade Emperor for blessings, good fortune, and protection. His significance is deeply rooted in Chinese culture and religious practices, Many festivals, rituals, and temples are dedicated to honoring and seeking favor from this celestial leader. You might come across stories where the Jade Emperor plays a pivotal role, showcasing his influence over the supernatural. His image is a symbol of authority and benevolence in Chinese spirituality. So the Jade Emperor, or Yu Huang, is like the CEO of the gods, maintaining order in the cosmic company and being a source of guidance and blessings for those who seek divine intervention in Chinese mythology. Nuwa is a fascinating figure in Chinese mythology, often depicted as a goddess with a human's upper body and a snake's lower body. According to myth, she played a crucial role in creating humanity and restoring order to the world. Legend has it that a long time ago, there were giant pillars supporting the heavens, but they collapsed, causing chaos and imbalance. To fix this, Nuwa melted colorful stones to patch up the sky and used the legs of a giant turtle to support the corners of the heavens. This not only restored order, but also created the first humans from the mud. Nuwa is sometimes credited with creating mankind by molding clay figures, breathing life into them, and thus becoming a compassionate mother to humanity. Nuwa is also associated with the idea of yin and yang, representing the balance of opposite forces in the universe. In some stories, she is paired with Fu Qi, another important deity, and together they are considered the ancestors of humanity. Her stories reflect ancient Chinese beliefs about the connection between gods and humans, the importance of balance in the world, and the idea of creation and order. Nuwa remains a symbol of creativity, balance, and maternal care in Chinese mythology, and her tales continue to be shared to convey important cultural and moral lessons. Fuxi is a prominent figure in Chinese mythology, often regarded as a cultural hero and one of the earliest rulers. According to legend, Fuxi and his sister, half of his soul, Nuwa, played crucial roles in the creation of humanity. They are sometimes depicted as having snake-like tails that entwine, symbolizing the concept of yin and yang, the balance of opposites. Fuqi is associated with the development of early civilization, credited with introducing essential cultural elements, such as writing, hunting, fishing, and music. In art and stories, Fuqi is often portrayed with a compass and square, emphasizing his contributions to technology and knowledge. As a wise and benevolent figure, Fuqi is also linked to the concept of marriage. Legend has it that Fuxi and Nuwa were not only siblings, 
but also a married couple illustrating the dual nature of their relationship and the harmony between opposites. Overall, Fuchi holds a special place in Chinese mythology as a cultural pioneer, creator, and symbol of unity. His legacy extends to philosophical and spiritual realms, emphasizing the interconnectedness of the natural world and the importance of balance in Chinese cosmology. Guan Yu is a legendary figure in Chinese mythology and history, often revered as the god of war and symbol of loyalty. Born during the turbulent period of the Three Kingdoms, Guan Yu was a general serving under the warlord Liu Bei. He is widely celebrated for his unwavering loyalty, martial prowess, and strong moral character. What makes Guan Yu stand out is his famous weapon, the Green Dragon Crescent Blade, and his distinctive appearance with a long flowing beard and a dignified expression. He is portrayed wearing a green robe or armor. He played a crucial role in various battles, including the Battle of Red Cliffs, where his loyalty to Liu Bei was truly exemplified. Guan Yu's character extends beyond the pages of history into Chinese folklore and religion. Many temples are dedicated to him, and he's worshipped as a guardian deity, especially by those seeking protection, loyalty, and courage. In popular culture, Guan Yu is a recurring figure in literature, movies, and video games. His code of honor, brotherhood, and martial skill make him an enduring symbol of heroism in Chinese culture. Erlong Shen is a fascinating figure in Chinese mythology, often depicted as a powerful and heroic deity. He's known for his distinctive third eye, which grants him special abilities. In simple terms, imagine Erlang Shen as a sort of supernatural superhero in the Chinese pantheon. Legend has it that Erlang Shen played a crucial role in battling powerful demons and monsters. His third eye, located in the middle of his forehead, gives him the ability to see things beyond ordinary vision. It's like having a superpower that allows him to perceive the true nature of beings and uncover hidden threats. Erlang Shun is often portrayed wielding a magical staff and accompanied by a loyal canine companion. Together they confront and vanquish evil forces, showcasing his bravery and strength. People turn to Erlang Shun for protection and assistance in times of trouble, considering him a guardian against malevolent entities. Beyond his warrior aspect, Erlang Shun is also associated with justice. He stands up for what's right and ensures that balance is maintained in the celestial realms. His stories are not just about defeating monsters. They convey moral lessons in the triumph of good over evil. In Chinese culture, Erlang Shen is revered as a symbol of courage, insight, and righteousness. His tales have been passed down through generations, illustrating the timeless appeal of this mythical hero. So when you hear about Erlang Shen, think of a celestial champion with a third eye, using his extraordinary abilities to protect and preserve the cosmic order. Zhong Kui is a fascinating figure in Chinese mythology, often known as the Demon Queller and a protector against evil spirits. Picture him as a heroic, ghost-busting guardian. Now, here's the lowdown in simple terms. Zhong Kui is typically depicted as a fierce, bearded man with a commanding presence. He's renowned for his skills in battling malevolent forces and driving away demons. In Chinese folklore, he earned this role after a dramatic turn of events. Legend has it that he was a scholar with an extraordinary intellect, but due to his unattractive appearance, he was denied a high-ranking position in the imperial examinations. Heartbroken and feeling injustice, Zhong Kui took his own life. However, the King of Hell recognized his worth and appointed him as the Chief Commandant of Ghosts. Armed with a magical sword, he became the go-to guy for keeping evil spirits in check. People believe that images or statues of Zhong Kui can ward off bad luck and protect against supernatural threats. 
This makes him a popular figure in traditional Chinese art and folklore. Imagine Zhang Kui as the ultimate defender against things that go bump in the night, a supernatural superhero of sorts. So, if you're looking for a guardian to keep the spooky stuff at bay, Zhang Kui is your go-to guy in Chinese mythology. Nezha is a fascinating character in Chinese mythology, often portrayed as a mischievous yet powerful deity. Imagine a spirited and playful child with incredible abilities. Nezha is usually depicted with fiery red hair and magical weapons, such as a fiery hoop and windfire wheels. One of the most famous stories about Nezha involves his unconventional birth. Legend has it that he was born from a lotus flower, and his mother gave birth to him, fully grown, and with unique powers. This mythological birth sets Nezha apart from other deities. Nezha's adventures often involve battling demons and supernatural creatures. His fearlessness and combat skills make him a symbol of bravery. Despite his mischievous nature, Nezha is known for protecting people and standing up against evil forces. One notable aspect of Neza's character is his relationship with his parents. He is portrayed as a filial son, showing deep respect and love for his family. This familial connection adds a relatable and human dimension to the deity. In popular culture, Neja has become a beloved figure, appearing in literature, theater, and even modern adaptations like animated films. His stories teach lessons about courage, loyalty, and the triumph of good over evil. In essence, Nezha is a dynamic and charismatic figure in Chinese mythology, capturing the imagination with his playful yet heroic nature, making him a timeless and cherished character in Chinese folklore. Sun Wukong, also known as the Monkey King, is a fascinating character in Chinese mythology, Imagine a mischievous and powerful monkey with incredible strength and magical abilities. He's not just any monkey, he's a trickster with a heart full of adventure. Sun Wukong gained prominence in the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West. Born from a stone egg on the mountain of flowers and fruit, he quickly showed his extraordinary talents. He became the Monkey King by mastering the art of shape-shifting, turning into various animals and objects. But what makes Sun Wukong truly special are his legendary feats. He wielded a magical staff that could change its size and fought with unparalleled skill. He even caused mischief in the heavenly realm, challenging the gods and achieving a level of immortality. However, the gods, including the Jade Emperor, weren't too thrilled with Sun Wukong's antics. They tried to put him in his place, but his wit and powers often outsmarted their attempts. Eventually, he was subdued and imprisoned under a mountain for rebelling against the Celestial Order. The Monkey King's journey doesn't end there. He later becomes a key companion to the monk Xuanzang in the epic quest to retrieve Buddhist scriptures from the West. Sun Wukong's loyalty, bravery, and transformations make him a beloved and enduring character in Chinese folklore. So, in a nutshell, Sun Wukong is a cheeky, powerful monkey with a knack for getting into trouble. But his journey is not just about mischief. It's a tale of growth, redemption, and the enduring spirit of adventure. Chang'e, the moon goddess in Chinese mythology, is a captivating figure surrounded by a tale that has been cherished for centuries. Legend has it that Chang'e was once a beautiful woman living on earth with her husband, Hu Yi. Now, Hu Yi was a skilled archer who saved the world by shooting down nine of ten suns, leaving only one to provide light. As a reward, he was given the elixir of immortality. However, Hu Yi and Chang'e decided to save it for later. Enter a tricky character, Feng Shi, who coveted the elixir. Hu Yi wasn't willing to hand it over, so Chang Yi made a fateful decision. On the day of Hu Yi's absence, she swallowed the elixir to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. Instead of granting her immortality, 
It caused her to float away to the moon. Now Cheng A resides on the moon, accompanied by a jade rabbit. People say you can see the outline of a rabbit pounding herbs in the moon's shadows, a part of the folklore. On the mid-autumn festival, families reunite to appreciate the full moon, eat moon cakes, and share the tale of Chang e. This story resonates with themes of sacrifice, love, and the consequences of our choices. Chang e represents the beauty and mystery of the moon, inspiring generations with a story that transcends time and culture. Zhang Ziya is a fascinating figure in Chinese mythology. Imagine a wise and strategic hero, almost like a legendary general, but with divine qualities. Zhang Ziya is known for his exceptional military skills and strategic brilliance. In ancient China, he served as a military commander during the Shang Dynasty. What makes him truly special is that he's not just a historical figure, He's also considered a deity. Legend has it that he played a crucial role in overthrowing the tyrannical rule of the last Shang Dynasty king, Zhu Jin. He was instrumental in helping the Zhu Dynasty establish itself. Zhang Ziya is often depicted with a magical item called the Fish Drum, which he used to rally allies and signal troop movements. What's unique about him is that he went beyond being a mortal hero. Over time, people began to worship him as a god, attributing his successes to divine intervention. This transition from a skilled strategist to a deified figure showcases how myths and legends in Chinese culture intertwine with history. So, think of Zhang Ziya as a brilliant military mind who not only made a significant impact in ancient China, but also became a revered god, symbolizing wisdom, strategy, and the triumph of good over evil.